On Wednesday, February 28th, the University of Pikeville lost one of their most dedicated public safety officers. Captain Doug Cottle was known by everyone on campus and the community during his 25 years there. Now the students, faculty, and other public safety officers remember him and the impact he made. Yeah, so obviously our, our guys, they, they work really close with uh, Captain Cottle and uh, the, they'll go through the grieving process. Uh, the support from the campus community and his friends have been uh, uh, very, very important to helping those guys through that. Yeah, so Doug, uh, he, he's been part of the campus community for nearly 25 years, so that's going to leave a large void to fill. Uh, Doug was a huge student advocate. Um, I can recall of things of uh, purchasing uh, students' prescription meds if they didn't have the, enough money. Uh, buying that tank of gas if they was headed home and didn't have that money. Um, students who were hungry, he, he made sure they had food, um, and he obviously, you know, supported students during the time of crisis. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard, regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. Captain Cottle is survived by his mother, wife, and sons. For those who wish to make a memorial donation, visit www.upike.edu slash giving. The campus community and the support that we've received from, from uh, other individuals, friends, uh, close family members of Doug, it's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a blessing to, to have that support. And let's just remember his wife and his young son and his mom through this process. We're there to support them in whatever they may need through this time. And, you know, it's very important that we support them after this, uh, after the funeral and, and help them through that process as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.